Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and today we'll be learning how to auto-tune your voice like T-Pain in Sony Vegas. Now let's get started. Alright, so uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to download this free VST uh, audio plugin called G-Snap, which you can get from this website, gvst.co.uk. You can just type in G-Snap on Google like I did. And uh, it should be the first one. You click download, and you'll click one of these. Um, and I already clicked download, and I extracted the file and got this, which is just the plugin and a little license. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the uh, plugin, right click, and click copy. And then we're gonna go to start my computer. Um, and now we're basically going to go into your root directory under uh, whichever drive your Windows operating system is on. And we're going to create a program that we can tell Vegas to look at so it, it can uh, officially find the, the plugins. And we're just going to go to local disk. We're going to go to program files. And in here, I already have one made, but uh, you can easily make one. It's called VST Plugins, just a folder with all your other folders and uh, you can either click make a new folder right here or you can right click click new folder and you'll call it VST plugins and you'll go on it now I already have a couple uh, programs already on here uh, or plugins rather and uh, all you're gonna do is just click paste I already have gsnap right here so I'm not actually gonna paste it but you would click paste and then it should be in there we'll close out of that and we'll close out of that now here I am in Vegas and uh, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and drag in my sample of me, of a little sample of the Lemonade Acoustic Rap, um, which I indeed auto-tuned. Um, it's kind of obvious. You can check it out with a cool annotation right about now. Oh, yeah. You want to click it? Oh, yeah. Click it right now. Why haven't you clicked it yet? Okay, whatever. Whatever. This time. You're lucky. You're lucky this time. <sighs> okay. So we're going to go into Options and go to preferences and then in one of the tabs there should be a VST effects um, again I already have mine set up like this but what you would do is go to browse in the default VST search folder click browse and basically in this uh, browse for folder menu we're gonna find we're gonna go into program file same thing we did in the C drive and you're gonna find that VST plugin folder right there and click OK and then it'll find all your your plugins automatically and you should be good and then we'll click OK and now you've successfully installed all your plugins so now we have my uh, my raw my raw audio file of me at the first verse of the lemonade rap it's pretty embarrassing but you know um, this is the internet no one really watches this anyway you know <sighs> here we go Oh, sorry, I kind of got into it. Um, I don't know if you guys actually heard that because my computer speakers kind of turned a little bit low. Let's, uh, you know, let's turn it up a little bit. Um, uh, I'm on my other monitor. Sorry, you can't see this. I know it's exciting. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to click on this green button, the track effects button on our audio layer. We're going to click that and we're going to go to the same button up here and click that. Now after we install the VST plugins we should have the plugins in here and it should just be called G-Snap. Then we'll click add. Okay. Ooh fancy here it is. Now first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tell it what key we're singing in. Now you are going to have to know a little music theory to get this right. Um, you know everything's in a certain key being um, like if it was on a keyboard, right? So in my instance, I am singing in B flat, which on here is A sharp, because A sharp and B flat are the same note. So we'll click that, and you'll, or in your case, you'll click whatever one you uh, you need and fit your voice, and we'll click set thresholds to fill gaps, and we'll keep this on major, and click OK. And then basically it takes out all the notes that aren't in the A major scale or A sharp major scale 
so it won't auto tune to any bad notes. Now, to give you an example, um, we'll we'll try this out. Actually, we'll do that later after we adjust all these. <laughs> I'm a bit indecisive. Oh, did I mess it up? No, we'll do that again. Okay, there we go. So, um, we have our minimum frequency and our maximum frequency. Basically, it's you're telling the plugin what frequencies do you want it to auto tune, and basically, we want it to do all of them. So we're going to set the maximum to the highest and the minimum to the lowest, so 40 and 2,000. And we're going to set our gate down to around, we'll just go ahead and keep it at negative 80. Um, and then our speed should be about 1 or 2. Um, you can always adjust any of these parameters to how you desire. The best way to get the best result is to mess around with it until you get what you want. And we'll set the amount to 100%. And then this is what creates the effect the attack and release which is where it looks at the notes that um that it's auto tuning or pitch correcting and it and it's how how much they change from note to note and how many milliseconds it takes and so we want it at pretty low we'll go ahead and keep the attack at one and the release at about uh about four that should be good and so let's play this back and see what it sounds like That looks pretty good. I like that. Wow, I said that looks pretty good. Um, it sounds pretty good. You know, the audio waves on here, wow. That auto-tune just does so much for them. Just kidding, that was a joke. Oh, I'm bad at these. So you want to make sure you're in the right key so you get the best result. If you're confused on how to do this, um, you can try to look it up online if you're singing a... Uh, if you're singing a, a, a cover, you can type in the name of the song and type in what key is this in. Maybe that'll help. Or you can try to use a piano and just match the keys on the piano until it matches what you're singing. Or you can ask one of your cool friends who knows a lot about music. But hopefully we all know what we're doing. So um, once we get done with that, with the uh, auto-tune and pitch, pitch correction, you can add in a couple other effects. Um, you know, you can add in a nice reverb. We'll add that in. Put it on uh, deep hall. Take the reverb down a little bit, and uh, adds a nice little uh, kind of to me. Kind of makes it sound more realistic in a way. And you can you know mess with the equalizer. Add some more bass. Add a little bit of treble. I'll take down the mid ranges. Uh, I don't know if that sounds good or not. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. Yeah. My voice just cracked. Puberty! Oh, okay. Well, uh, hope this helped you guys. Um, make sure to give give me a, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? A video response um, of any music videos or any just uh, music in general that you use this on. I would love to hear it and uh, see what you can do with it. And, uh, you know, subscribe, please. Um, it helps me out and uh, inspires me to make more and more, you know. And uh, comment, tell me what you like. Five stars, because you'll love me. Five stars if you love me, right now. Right now. If you love me, give me five stars. If I see a one star, I am going to do bad things. Bad things. Okay, this is getting weirder and weirder. So I should end this tutorial. Um, everyone check out BraProductions.net for help on any of your needs uh, if you need any help just uh, post it in the forums and uh, I typically reply in less than 24 hours because I'm a freak and sit on my computer all the time so um, everyone have a great day alright I'm gangsta fool don't mess with me got my lemonade got my white tea